there are hundreds of DevOps tools. Which of these DevOps tools should you start learning first? That's a question a number of beginners to DevOps ask me. And that's what we would talk about in this specific video. Let's talk first about what is DevOps. DevOps is all about improving communication within the team. DevOps is all about getting quick feedback through automation. And that's where there are a lot of aspects that we talk about when it comes to DevOps. We talk about continuous integration, continuous deployment. We talk about infrastructure as code. We talk about configuration management. We talk about observability. So there are tons of things which come under the ambit of DevOps. Actually, the entire software development process comes under the ambit of DevOps. And that's why there are hundreds of tools you talk about Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, Ansible, Pulumi. You talk about a number of tools related to observability, even build tools like Maven. A lot of them are considered to be part of DevOps. And that's what makes the beginner's job of choosing what to learn very, very difficult. Now, which of these tools should you start learning first? That's the question that I am very, very frequently asked. And the answer to that, as far as I'm concerned, is to first identify the job profiles that you are applying to. There is no one DevOps job profile. Each DevOps job profile is different from another. Different companies make use of different tools. Different enterprises have different architectures in place. And therefore, the first thing that you need to understand if you are applying for a job at a specific enterprise is what are the tools that they are making use of? What is the job profile that you would want to apply? Identify the requirements there. Identify the specific tools which are made use of in there. And then identify what are the gaps. Your skills versus what are the needs for a specific job. Try and match them. Try and identify the gaps and try to fill them. Don't learn every DevOps tool which is out there. There are so many DevOps tools that are out there that it's impossible to be an expert at all of them. This is very, very important for every beginner to DevOps to understand. There is no one DevOps job profile. Each DevOps job profile is different from others. And that's the reason why find the gaps and fill them. Now, if you are a fresher, you don't know where to start, you want to get the best out of whatever DevOps tools are out there, then the first thing I would recommend you to do is to start learning the cloud. Do one of the beginner cloud certifications. Maybe things like AZ900 or AWS Cloud Practitioner or Google Cloud Digital Leader. That's the best place to start with the cloud for freshers. If you don't have any experience, that's where you'd want to go. So first go there. And then if I have to tell you three DevOps tools to learn, then I would recommend you to play with Docker, Kubernetes and Terraform. So learn cloud first and then go to Docker, Kubernetes and Terraform. Important thing, this is only if you have no idea about what to learn. But if you have specific job profiles that you would want to apply, I would recommend you to actually identify what are the tools they are making use of. Try and fill the gaps with respect to that. Hopefully this video is useful and I'll see you again.